what is going on guys thank you so much for tuning in back to the channel today we're going to be finishing up the interior for the na 95m super excited because after this process we get to smog register get some new tires and new wheels and start driving this thing we're going to be restoring the interior today it might be a three-part series we're going to be doing carpet i'll leave a link below so you guys can pick this up for yourself we already did a dry rough fit and it looks great we're also going to be doing a little bit of sound deadening and heat insulation for the car we did it for the blue miata and we liked it so much we got another box and we're going to do it to this one too hopefully it's going to add some more luxury feel to the car um, it is a Miata, so everything squeaks and rattles and completely shakes your brain around. But this will probably lessen that effect. In the other two videos, we're going to be restoring the plastic interior bits. And in another video, we're going to be reupholstering the seats. Anyways, we're going to move right on. We're going to be degreasing and vacuuming the entire interior so that when we're ready to put the Noiko in, it's got a great surface to lay on. So let's go. Everything's wiped down and vacuumed, and it looks really nice now. Look at those Walmart shoes. What are those? What are those? All right, so now that we got the interior basically cleaned up, we got this Noiko. We're throwing it in real fast. This is a heat insulation. It's going to keep the heat out from the temperatures of the road, and it's going to help quiet the interior. So it's going to make it sound a little bit better on the road. It won't rattle as much. Maybe it might not vibrate as much, but we used this in the Blue Miata. It was really nice. I'll leave a link below to the video and the material where you can get the stuff. It's pretty cheap, like 60 bucks a box. You could get away with doing one box in the entire interior for the Miata. We kind of went a little crazy on the other one. We used two boxes, triple layered, all that stuff. But you can do this job for about $60 if you're uh, willing to pull out your interior. But we're going to throw this in real quick, considering that we have no carpet and um, I talk too much. No. Let's throw it in. All right, so everything's laid down now. We triple layered just like the other Miata, so this should be perfect. We kept the soft top area undone just because there's supposed to be a rubber piece instead of the sound deadening. We don't want to cover the panels that give us access to the fuel pump, so we're gonna leave that piece undone, and now we can throw the carpet in. This is the exciting part. Guys, I am so excited. This is the first time we're doing any interior stuff to this car. All right, guys, look how nice this looks. Fresh carpet. This makes the car look so much better. And it feels nice, too. Like, look how thick that is. And then if you have your own carpet, go look at how thick yours is. It's probably half the size. I'm super happy with the way this is coming out. Easy, easy to install. Just, it gets hot in here. Like, it's... Like, even in the, even in the corners, it looks really good. And they really mean it when they say molded carpet. Just do this in the shade. It's hot. It's 75, which is cool out here in California, but it's hot right now. Let's finish it. Okay, so now we're going to do this part. The rest of it. I'm going to take it for a drive. All right, guys, so after struggling for about 45 minutes, we finally got the interior together. Looks pretty good for the most part. We had to cut some holes for the seat belts and the seats and everything, but it looks good now. It is a little bit dirty because we were going in and out with the seats, trying to get it all perfect off camera. Uh, that was a mistake. Luckily, we probably will not see these, but it all feels really good. Just gotta button up the little things now, I think. The bulkhead, which is behind the seat, we'll throw that on, it just Velcros together. And then we'll put the tombstone and the center console all back together and we should be somewhere close to a complete interior on the Miata. Uh, let's finish this up. Only a couple more things to do. Last piece of the puzzle, and we can start driving her. I think they forgot to we forgot oh my to God, put it in to... there. Oh All right, no. guys, note to self. We just spent like 20 minutes getting this piece perfect. 
take it out again. All right, so we're just gonna slip this behind everything and we should be good to go. And we can button up the center console again. Ah, uh, for the third time. Pretty good. Is that it? Yeah, just gotta button it up now. Thank God. This car has come a very long way. Uh, we got this car back in right when COVID started and now we're so far into it and so little amount of money we spent like the amount of money we spent is nowhere even close to what i even put into the brz and that That's car so wasn't true. even done you know i'm just super excited to actually be able to get somewhere close to finishing this car so it's really taught us a lot i think mm -hmm. so let's put the seats in It looks really good. Let's just take a step back and admire it before we put the trashy seats inside. It looks really good. I don't think I could be happier with it other than if I spent maybe half the price. Everything lined up really well. I have no complaints other than the price. It's too expensive. Moss Miata, you gotta change that. Okay, time for seats. All right guys, so it is now two hours later. We spent a bunch of time detailing the interior and washing the car because it was so dirty. It sat for like two months, but here it is. It looks so much better from far away now. The interior looks put together. Other than the seats being in such trashy condition, it is nice being able to like look around and you don't see any of the purple inside the car. There's nothing showing, it's all upholstered. Alina's just throwing those reflectors on real quick because we're gonna be driving the car. We haven't driven it maybe, oh, actually, this is pretty cool. Since we've owned the vehicle, uh, we drove it to go get painted and, and we might've driven it around like around the block a couple times. We have put on 89 miles. One year of ownership, almost 89 miles. So yeah, we haven't even put hundred miles on this car. We still need to go through break-in period or the break-in process for the engine because of the new rod bearings that we put in there. If you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. We did rebuild the lower end of the motor somewhat. It was like a, a good fix. So we did a good fix on it. But yeah, I'm super happy with it. Seats and floor mats really are gonna tie it all together. I'll have to go out and start getting quotes normally. Like for the blue Miata, um, we have the material. So we're actually gonna tackle that job ourselves. But for the NAs at least, this seat is kind of one of a kind. They only made this for the 95. I don't want to try to tackle this and totally ruin it. So that'll be changed out with the new floor mats. It's all coming together. If you're not following the channel already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button down below. It really helps us out a lot. Be sure to go check us out on Instagram at 86 goals. You can see all behind the scenes footage over there. Oh, so quick side note, Alina is also going to be building an FA20 motor, possibly for boost, maybe. We got wheels coming in for Alina's car. She had three piece custom wheels ordered six months or eight months ago. Oh yeah, there's also that box, that, that box. All that is for a body kit for Alina's car, her FRS. It doesn't really get a lot of love. She doesn't like showing it off. Originally it wasn't on these wheels. She had four star F14s on it originally. It looks really good on the bag setup but she sold them for the custom wheels. So you gotta take some, you can't win them all. You know what I mean? So kit, wheels, paint, a bunch of stuff happening for Alina's car. My car is gonna get sold. Super excited about that. This car is gonna be the new daily. Gonna get some new wheels for that too. We actually already have them in the backyard. Just need the tires, uh, smile, register. I've talked too much. Take it easy guys. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.